you do that first, then you can uh, carry on with this uh, video. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Rick, and uh, thanks for dropping in. Um, this little clip, I bought myself some more goodies. I'm sorry. Um, I told you I was replacing the uh, Power Parts GPS mount, um, high level mount, uh, for a low level bar mounted GPS mount. Um, I don't have to, but uh, because I had the, the S model, Super Adventure S screen, the power parts mount uh, was fine. It, it was well protected behind the screen. Um, it, uh, it's gonna be used on road, so the vibration issue wasn't, wasn't really a problem. Um, but with the Super Adventure R model screen, this sat nav kind of sticks over the top of the screen and is exposed to all the elements. It's not really a big deal, but I don't really like the look of it. Um, I'm still going to keep the, uh, the the mount because when I go touring, I want the sat nav at high level, in line of sight. But um, as I'm planning, hopefully, uh, a I'm planning to do a few trails, and this thing is just going to bounce around all over the place, and I value my expensive Zoom XT sat nav. Um, also, um, I don't really want it exposed to all the elements by having this SAR screen, which is a lot lower than the standard screen. Um, so I ventured back down to Perron Moto. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, there's probably other brands out there you can choose, but I think it's really good value for money. And the products, they're fantastic. Um, so I bought, bought, not given uh, myself, I bought myself the handlebar amps clamp um, to mount my Garmin Zumo XT on the bars. A, I won't have a, an exposed sat nav because I've got the low screen and B, it's not going to vibrate all over the place because this is going to be a lot more secure. Um, so let's check it out. All right, this is the what's in the box, uh, handlebar amps clamps. You've got the uh, plate that goes underneath the bars, I suspect. And the plate that goes over the top, uh, which I believe it's uh, compatible with TomTom Tom and Garmin. And the bag of bolts. So, let's see how this looks. Right, let's remove this. <coughs> Get this off. Got the smaller of the bolts for the washer. Goes on there. And another one. All right, I'll leave that a bit loose so I can position my uh, GPS. Let me sort my wiring out first.
All right, let's have a look. Looks pretty good to me. What about when I'm sat down on the bike? Seated position. Eye level. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Well guys, I hope that little clip was informative. Um, for those of you that were actually looking for a handlebar mount anyway, check Peron Moto out, uh, fully recommend it. I love the build quality, as I said in the previous vids. Um, I'm happy with that. It's looking more like a dirt bike every minute, even though it's not. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm loving the uh, the styling of the bike, how it's turning out with the old, um, what do you call it? Uh, top rack on, lots of lashing points. Excellent uh, handlebar clamp for the GPS. And uh, yeah, I'm chuffed. I'm just waiting for the headlight protector to come through now. And uh, I think that's about it, apart from off-road tyres or semi-off-road tyres anyway. Um, I'm going to try and find a few green lanes around here because, you know, my, my, my area is down south, um, which I've done green laning, um, but none around here. So uh, even though I've been living here for years. <coughs> but um, yeah, anyway, hope that little clip was uh, helpful. Um, check them out if you want. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know how you get on. All right, cheers. Oh, before I forget, um, I just want to show you that it doesn't interfere with the storage compartment. Um, I'll show you. Yeah. Perfectly fine.